Thank you. Uh, it's Wopop KXP 90.3 FM live on the web at kxp.org. And it is my great pleasure to have in the studio, in our new home, Theory Corporation. Theory Corporation live in the studios on Wopop on KEXP celebrating their 20th anniversary. Um, that's a long time for a band, and especially a band as diverse as what's going on here. Rob, thanks for coming in. Thanks for having us. Always great to be back here in Seattle. We okay. just checked that the last time we had you here was 2005 in our old studio. It's been a minute. It's been a minute. Yeah. And um, um, the band is still together. So I have, I have to ask this one question. What's the secret? How does a band with such diverse personalities um, keep it going? We all have our own tour bus. Really? Yeah, each one of us. <laughs> <laughs> That's the secret. That's the secret. A proper sponsorship from um, Otto. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> awesome. So uh, you have a sold out show tonight at the Showbox Market, which is a beautiful room. Yeah. And um, when you do a 20th anniversary show, like what, what's the, um, um, how do you put that together? Like that's a lot of records. What so, goes in? What goes out? It's a lot of records. I mean, I think, you know, our dedication has always been to the music and our record collection and our influences and they come from such diverse places and it reflects with all the people we have here in the studio with us and on the stage, you know, and we just try to keep it fun and enjoy what we do. Well, you've been a success. Thanks. Awesome. <laughs> awesome. Let's hear some more music. Sure. Je pense bien que le monde est calculé Je pense 
que tout est encadré Que nos pensées sont tracées Corporation, live in the studios on Wop Up and KEXP. Uh, that's beautiful. Thank as, you. As you know. Um, so with 20 years, I got to thinking about this. Like we go back a bit, the station and personally. Um, you guys have been playing really, really cool music since 96, even before that. And back then it was hard to find cool music. Yeah, I mean, the internet didn't exist the way no. that it did. Now, so <laughs> You had to dig, you had to dig. Now there's a lot of cool music, and you guys rode the wave where you were um, one of the first ones to start incorporating um, bossa nova, uh, Afrobeat, um, traditional Indian, with this particular kind of flavor. It was called trip hop. Yep. And the music just kept evolving. But you guys, because you got your own label, you never, like, lurch to any particular genre. I was like, okay, let's just stay on this. You never sold the label. You never, quote unquote, sold out. Mm -hmm. But the pressure must have been intense. You know, just come on, here's all this money. How did you keep from um, losing your soul? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's funny because back in the day, we had a lot of lucrative record contracts offered to us. And uh, 
you know, we always decided to keep it independent. And I think that's why we're still here today because a lot of people we know that got signed to major labels, I mean, if you sell like 200,000 copies for a major label, that's nothing. Mm -hmm. But if you're two guys doing it in the liquor room of a studio, you can make a decent living. I know. So, you know, and uh, we've always really wanted to do it ourselves because we're from Washington, D.C. and We're inspired by the Discord guys and, you know, Fugazi, all those bands. And seeing other bands that could do it themselves made us want to, you know, just keep it in the family. What is it about D.C.? Um, because it's, you know, it's the capital, but people don't really know much about it. And you guys were at the forefront because I was just in D.C. And you guys are still, you know, with clubs and restaurants and, and everything. You're still very much vital to that scene. But the scene in itself is kind of weird. D.C. has always been sort of a weird music scene because, you know, it's very overshadowed by politics, policy, World Bank, all these kind of things. Mm -hmm. And so the music scene and the underground is kind of tight. So I think it kind of really fostered the sort of rebellion and people realizing there are no major record labels and things like that in D.C., so they really had to do it themselves. So there's always a political subtext to your work. And is it because of D.C.? Is it because you're like in the crucible of power or where did that come from? I think that that has some effect for sure on what we do, but also, you know, we grew up listening to bands like The Clash and Public Enemy mm -hmm. and Fugazi and people that were socially conscious and a lot of reggae and dub, which is also very politically aware. And so that's always filtered through our music and we've always just wanted to say what we've wanted. Okay, awesome. Let's hear some more music. TV Corporation, live in the studios, KXP, where the music matters.
Thievery Corporation with the beautiful vocals of Natalia Clavier. That was lovely. Uh, Rob, can we introduce the band? Yeah, over here on my left on percussion, uh, Frank Oral. And on drums, Jeff Franca. On the bass, Ashish Vyas. On guitar and sitar, Robbie Myers. On trumpet, Mike Cardone. On saxophone, Jesse McGinty. On vocals right now, Natalia Clavier. And we just had Lulu before that. Mm -hmm. And uh, coming up next, we have Puma Pata and Sleepy Wonder. That's a lot of people that have come through and become part of the Thievery family. Um, how does that work? How do people come in? How do they, is there like, is there some kind of process they have to do, go through like the 12 chambers of death, the old Jackie Chan style or like? They're all hitchhikers. We find them on the road. We pick it. one up after the other. <laughs> that would be a beautiful story. Yeah. We found them on the highways. Now, um, <laughs> and byways. <of> yeah. <laughs> um, no, uh, some of these guys are from Washington, and just over the years, uh, we met people like Frank, who was in a, another band called Poor Dog Pondering. It's a very, very important band. Yeah. And, um, you know, a lot of these people here, like Robbie Myers and Jeff, all have their different projects, mm -hmm. and we just find different vocalists, and sometimes in bars and cafes and... <laughs> things like that. And wherever just, it works. Wherever it works. So what keeps the inspiration flowing? Because it's been, you know, it's 20 years, which is uh, amazing. But we've gone through, you know, the rise of Burning Man. Gluten is verboten right now. Yep. And it's like <laughs> veganism is on the rise. And our enemies have changed to other people. And you guys have this whole like Bruce Lee meets James Bond in the past yet in the future kind of energy. So I'm just wondering, like, you know, what, what, what motivates you guys all the time? Well, you know, that's an important part because I think there is something about, you know, having a foot in the past but also a foot in the future. And, uh, you know, that kind of tangent where the two of them meet. And for us, it's just been about doing the music and we just feel like we're in the bonus round. We've had a career for longer than mm -hmm. we ever expected and we just try to enjoy it. Let's it's future trip for a second and then hear one of the songs. But if I were to go to you, and I first met you in 98, and I were to tell you, like, yo, man, we're going to be doing this in a big studio in 2016. I would never believe you. You would have been like, tripping. <laughs> well, here you are. Here we are, this yeah. Is awesome. Thievery Corporation, live in the studios at KXP. Go down in a hell Your bed of roses are filled with thorns Your righteous robe are tattered and torn If she had only stood for love That would have been enough She wouldn't have to hide in her shame If she had only stood for love That wouldn't have been enough But now we are burning our flames Mary Marka Oh, what a beautiful life Mary Marka It's like kicking on the top of a night Mary Marka Oh, now Oh, what a beautiful life Mary Marka Oh, what a beautiful life Thank you. 
long slavery Oh, 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 oh A consciousness in captivity The promised land is in the lion's den A bunch of a greed has got to end Now we lay in the mud Looking up above The water just a drop from the sky, the sky. And they keep us in the mud Separating us from love Never let them conquer the eye Every matter Oh, what a beautiful sight Every matter It's like cooking on the half of a night Every matter Oh, what a beautiful sight Every matter Oh, what a beautiful life Sleep and I wonder, sing Yes, Mary Maka Say yes, I'm Mary Maka Maka Yes, Mary Maka Me see them on the top and top Yes, Mary Maka Me see them on the top And show them the on top Me watch the whole of them and drop and drop Yes, Mary Maka Me see them on the top Don't know that sleep and I want them Them on the mic and them a chat a chat Whoa, 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 whoa. Them for the top, uh, and show them the on top to watch the whole of them a drop a drop. Uh. Oh, uh -huh. oh, every matter. Oh, I got to do for all I Every matter. It's like you know the half of a night. Every matter. Oh, I got to do for all I Every mother Oh, what a beautiful life Corporation live in the studios of KEXP. Um, so, albums, Radio Retaliation, The Mirror Conspiracy, Richest Man in Babylon, Culture of Fear. What's the, what's the message going on? <laughs> what is the message? Good question. Um, we do have a new album that we just uh, finished recording down in Port Antonio, Jamaica. Which is amazing. Tell, tell us about that. Yeah, we recorded down at G Jam Studios and uh, just took... Uh, rhythm section down and, and uh, got uh, into the Jamaican vibe and feel. The new record is called Temple of I and I, and it comes out in uh, February 2017. Wow. Yeah, and it's uh, inspired by our reggae and dub influences. Okay, the last one was um, um, Sodaja, was Sodaja. deeply influenced by um, it's Bossa Nova. Yeah. Um, so you're still seeking, you're still looking, you're still, um, you're still driven. Yeah, you know, and I think, you know, our path is through our record collections and our inspiration, and we just kind of go back into the past and, you know, try to just introduce people to the music we love and, and keep forging ahead, you know, with electronic music as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're um, um, quite a renowned DJ, and you play different types of genres, but I find that the EDM kids are discovering theory now, like they're kind of calming down and going like, let me... Give me something with a little more soul to it. Do you find that too? 
Yeah, well, I think a lot of people's introduction to music is very obvious and very mainstream, but mm -hmm. people, as they listen to music more, they kind of get more into subtlety. And that's where a band like Thievery Corporation comes in because there's a large catalog of different styles of music that's influenced by electronic music. And people can go back and discover all this, you know, these sort of hidden gems and things. This is true. So let, one final question on that. The name. I know we've covered this before, but for the audience, why Thievery Corporation? What are you stealing? <laughs> what have you stolen? I, I don't know. Um, you know, I, th I think it's mainly, you know, coming from uh, our, our record collections. And, you know, back in the day, we used to sample a lot. So it kind of lent, you know, a sort of hint of stealing, mm -hmm. uh, you know, off of records and things like that. Back so, when you could. Back when you could, yeah. Not anymore. <laughs> the B Corporation, live in the studios of KEXP. We'd love to hear some more, please. Sure. Yep. 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 Check. Ready? Let's do it. Yo. Moving stick, so I'm a rhyme like a lunatic. We make a hit with an unassuming wit. The corporation conjured up the bass and the tempo. My name is Lift, that's the intro. Now let's go. Flow of life, throw it strike into the mix, to the pick. A condition in the word is sick. The powers that be, power in me to speak upon. Stress and strife that I see every day. Want to speak upon culture of fear. Up in your ear, they telling us terrorists about to strike. Maybe tonight, right? Let me just back up slowly with critical analysis of those. To control me Used to be we just had a screen in the crib On the TV Now we carry screens when we leave TV Laptop, smartphone, now we're never alone New affliction, I call media dope On the low famine is the programming Wanna watch your favorite show because it's so slamming Hold hands and let's gaze into the beautiful glare While we're here so we're burst in this culture of fear You know what? Man, terror alert on orange Yo, Garza, it's been on orange since like 2001, G. Could a brother like myself maybe get yellow just for like a couple weeks or something, you know what I'm saying? We taking this from Seattle to the world, y'all. Brace yourself. IRS, fear the INS, fear God More afraid of a credit card than a terror squad Really y'all, we're stepping with weapons overseas MasterCard and Visa won't allow me to breathe They deceive, the enemy is in the fine print They assassinate silent, with no single assailant Walls I'm scaling, they get a view with the blue sky Beautiful, till a couple choppers flew by Do I represent an element, a hint, a sentiment That you feel on the low, for real Deal starts with a spot, concludes with a handshake Physical to alter your sublimity but the landscape Leave thinking I can really trust that guy To be honest, kid, you should've really punched that guy Now it's Operation Shanker Banker Thank you for the load See you when you come to Reapers That's my home alone at night sweating Visions of Armageddon I've never seen the threat Yeah, I feel threatened Thoughts on our society Desire to spare freedom Don't succumb to this culture of fear Yeah From Seattle to the world, y'all We bringing this to the world don't succumb to this culture of fear. Ah. Thievery Corporation live in the studios of KXP 90.3 FM on the web at kxp.org. It was awesome. Thank you for having us. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. We're done, right? <laughs> okay. Yeah, I think Perfect. so. Perfect. Okay, I want to make sure because I, I saw more. Um, uh, come back again. Uh, Definitely. Come, come back uh, with the new record and much success. Sold out shows everywhere. You guys are killing it. Final question. How do you guys stay healthy? What's, um, what's the magic? This is an early morning uh, gig, which is strange. I understand. But what's the, what's the secret for you guys? Okay. L lots of sleep, no drinking, no drugs. Okay, healthy, aging. healthy living, you know. Aging, man. <laughs> God, wisdom. What can you do with that? I know, yeah. Thanks for being here. Our pleasure. 
KXP 90.3. I want to thank Scott, Jim, Justin, Kevin Suggs, and uh, Jim Bennett for doing our photography and hospitality. Nancy Wilson, Lena Levin. This is Warpop KXP 90.3. I'm Derek Mazzoni, your DJ and host. Thanks for tuning in. Awesome, awesome. Discover new music at listenerpoweredkexp.org.